Apparently, I just can't do it anymore. I um, left the public defender's office a couple months ago and went down to the courthouse today to try to get appointments, just get back at it. I've graduated the top three trial academies in the country, won my last two or three jury trials. I've got the skills. That's not the issue. I just can't be on the slave ship anymore. I don't have any more illusions. I, my body, I went into the courthouse today. I can get appointments, you know, and get paid, do the deal. I've been able to do it for like almost two decades. And now though, I'm just going in and my bodily body is just, I think I'd rather starve to death. I think I'd rather starve to death than continue being basically an accountant for the state. I don't have any illusions, you know, I like to tell myself I'm fighting for my clients and, you know, blah, 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 blah. The thing is, the game is rigged. It's a means of social control against the poor. And I can't do it for just money. I can't, you know, I just, I think I'd rather starve to death. I think I'd rather starve to death than to continue basically being a tour guide on the slave ship. They call us officers of the courts now, defense attorneys, we're officers of the court and the I can't see people for nonviolent drug offenses going to prison anymore you know more people are going to prison for marijuana in the federal system under Biden than they did under Trump and it's just because it's a means of social control against the poor I can't stop from seeing that everybody in that courthouse is poor and going to the unescapable conclusion that if we took out all the laws that disproportionately impact the poor, there would be no criminal system left. It's devolved into just merely a means of social control against the poor, what was supposed to be a democratic institution. And I went in today to try to, you know, see about getting back on the ship. And I just couldn't. I just sat there and listening to the attorneys talking about clients with alcohol issues and drug issues whose main problem is they weren't wealthy enough to afford counseling and instead turned to drugs and alcohol and it's just it's all fucked up consider this my prayer for revolution we need to burn it all down it's all been captured by the wealthy and the powerful and the criminal justice system it's not about rationality or even retribution or deterrence it's purely a means of social control against the poor if it worked, we'd be in the most drug-free, non-violent society in the history of this planet. But all it is is just a brutal means of social control against the poor, and I just don't seem to be able to do it.